Hello, Sim Gamers. Welcome back to Let's Play Sailwind. Your support comments and everything have been totally overwhelmingly awesome. I really appreciate it. We're going to dive into some more. I'm going to take a look to see where some lucrative contracts are going. But we are at a point now where we can actually begin backfilling contracts, which only get you so much money per run, with some actual trade. Looks like a shot due south to Alchemist Island uh, for seven crates of tobacco. Oh boy. We can take three missions worth of tobacco all to Alchemist Island. I'm just going to accept all those right now. I happen to know from previous playthroughs that the tobacco is our small crates. And then we'll see what sort of trades there are going that might get us to Alchemist Island. Can we afford any of that tobacco? No, we don't have enough lions to buy any tobacco. All right, and we're going to Alchemist Island, right? Let me double, 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 double check. Yes. A whole bunch of stuff going to Alchemist Island. All right, so we're looking for trades, lucrative trades to Alchemist Island. We could buy some salmon, 37 each. And if you're wondering how to make money in this game quickly, this is how you do it. Uh, salmon is the way to go because it's 37 each. We can buy two of those. Uh, cheese, goat cheese, rum, beer. Wine's good. Wine's a standard barrel. And we can buy two of those for 65 each? I think it was even better than salmon, right? Oh yeah, by a lot. So wine could be the way to go. Eh, grain, medicine, seafood, nope. Goods, whatever. Tobacco would be bad. <laughs> well, actually green tobacco would be awesome. But it's 800 bucks a crate. Anyway, um, they have 16 uh, barrels of wine for sale here. We're going to buy as many as we can afford. Looks like we can afford two. So we're headed south to Alchemist Island with a lot of cargo to load up. All right. This load up is going to take a little bit. But this is going to be a great mission with a lot of money to be made. Three different deliveries all going to the same spot. That's a little bit lucky. Streamer luck, maybe? And that cargo that we bought to sell as well. So in the new economy update, I was tracking when it came out. I just never actually played it. The dev said um, the main way that people should be making money is through um, is through trade, not through the missions. Missions get you started, but the real money comes in the um, in the way of in the form of of trade. Now all I need to do is make sure I don't sink my ship or anything silly. A whole bunch of tobacco getting loaded on. I'm going to keep things a little bit tight here if I can. But I'm not going to be too terribly precious about it. As soon as we're able to afford some tools like a fishing rod and things like that, um, our ability to earn money increases. As we don't have to worry about much about buying food. Okay, two barrels of wine up front. We're heading south. I do want to take a look.
That's sort of the thing about these wine is this wine is that you could accidentally drink some of it. So it's kind of good that I'm actually putting it up front. Okay, how's my food supply doing? We got eight goat cheese. We got plenty of water. We're all set. Due south. Uh, let's go ahead and kick our wheel over a notch. Actually, a whole bunch of notches because we need to make that <clears throat> basically just make a turn. We'll let our sheet winch out. As we are running before the wind right now. Um, and give it a push to help get away from the dock. All right, we're in, we're on board, we're sailing. Southward bound is where we want to go. I mean, the physics in this game is really good because my weight distribution on the ship can cause it to lean back and forth. I can hear my way, my sails sloughing or falling off in the wind. So we're going to go ahead and get ourselves set for a much improved wind angle. Something like that looks about right. Due south, should have clear seas ahead. Uh, we're not quite due south yet. I'm gonna get, get out past these barrier reefs. These breakwaters. Your latest comments are helping people make sense of Sailwind's economy. Like Arnick who says, do missions on the first trip or two. Then as you get some spare money and discounts, you start taking on extra cargo for trade. Oh hey, that's exactly what I'm doing right now. That reminds me. If you're looking to get some help or help others, be sure to join the official Discord uh, for Sailwind. Link in the description below. This song was Neon Drive by Harris Heller, part of the Stream Beats Lo-Fi playlist. And I just want to double check on my wind direction here. Looking good there. Double check our compass here. We're a little bit off course. We could uh, certainly angle a tad more south to get ourselves more into this close-hauled sailing position. Our cargo's looking great. <clears throat> the sunset is looking gorgeous just over our ship over there. And all things considered, I'm pretty happy. I'm going to go ahead and get myself uh, a couple of glasses of water. And something to eat. And we'll be getting ready to go to sleep on our ship here pretty soon. Since we late left uh, Gold Rock City so late in the afternoon, I am not worried about running aground before reaching um, the uh, Alchemist Island. That is where we're going, right? Yes. Oh, by the way, I've heard your comments. Yes. I can sell the table. I can sell this thing for a little bit of, uh, of extra bonus cash. In fact, I will sell this thing ev eventually. As I don't need it. But um, I'm going to keep my table for now. The easiest way to get cash is to just put it into work. Maybe we'll sell it later when we're thinking about upgrading to a ship or something. And I gotta start figuring out how I want to plan for that. Do I want to 
Start banking away a little bit towards Golden Lions because those are the only thing that I could use to buy the bigger ships. Um, and it takes 75 Golden Lions to buy the Sandbuck. Um, plus, I'm going to want all sorts of gear and supplies and stuff before I even think about taking it out. Or do I just uh, spend it all on cargo deliveries? Because it is in the game, ship customization is totally a thing. I'm going to see if I can't get a, a sail configuration for the Dow here that will help things along, but that'll be a little ways down the road. Maybe we'll do that. Spend money on that and then accept the fact that uh, that'll delay our purchase of a sandbuck. Well, we've been woken up to a gale. Oh, there's a storm ahead. All right. We are going to go ahead and just tack away from that if we can. This is an awful lot of wind blowing, awfully big waves. And I'm going to do us one better and reef this sail. So we're not getting as much sideways pressure, so, so much healing pressure. There we go. I was having a lovely sleep and woke up to this. Some big waves. Since the wind's blowing port to starboard, I am going to keep my weight on the port side here. My ship keeps on turning to starboard and I don't want it to. Mighty big waves we're dealing with here. Oh, look at this. Look at these seas. This game is so good. Oh. Wow, look at that wave. Oh, we're coming up over a big one right now. Ooh this is definitely the kind of weather people have had to deal with. when sailing about in real life. We've got to be pretty darn close to the island we're looking for. It's a little bit awkward to do our, our navigation right now, but over there to the, to the west, I do see an island. Um, and north-northwest is Gold Rock City. So that actually could be Alchemist Island to do west of us. In which case, I'm going to sail straight for it. Just let out a little sheet winch here. Once the storm blows by... Things will be a little easier. Now, if I really, really, really wanted to, if I really cared that much... 
I could ballast the ship to port a little bit since though, like I said, we got a strong wind. Grabbing a lot of sail here. I'm just tending to try to push the boat over to starboard. It's just about noon. Looks like we are making it to Alchemist Island today. I'm just currently on this, uh, continuing this port tack. Basically, I'm paralleling uh, more or less the breakwater to my port side here. And we'll go ahead and pull a U-turn into dock when we're ready to do that. All right, we've got good momentum. Let's go ahead and swing it around the port. Keep an eye on our on our weather vane. Solid sailing. Okay. When I put down here and drop off my cargo and sell everything, I may just choose to stay through the night. All that dealing with a storm and forgotten to drink some water, eat a little more cheese. Our supplies are starting to get low, so I'm going to want to think about how to resupply. May require another trip to Gold Rock City or something. All right, we're coming up on that dock pretty good. Let's begin reefing the sails. That should do it. Our momentum should carry us, carry us the rest of the way. Grab mooring line to moor off here and let me out. And here. And we are all set. Now, let's start offloading. So, as I recall, I'm not positive I remember this number. We had 144 lions at the beginning of the mission. Green tobacco was done. Black tobacco was done. And brown tobacco is done. Wine casks to sell. This is worth 120 something uh, money dollars right here. I don't need to actually take them to the guys. I need to have them available within range to trade, I think. So we'll see if this is close enough. Uh, wine. It is. We can sell two for 128. For 128 each. And I forgot to get a receipt for the purchase, but I can get a receipt for the sale. And, whoo, boy, we more than doubled our cash on that trip. Uh, and if I check my log... I can see the trade receipts I've done. Now, what I should have done is I should have grabbed a trade receipt for the purchase of the item as well. But we're going to worry about that in the next episode. Until then, I'm Sim Gamer, and this gorgeous little gem of a game 
is Sailwind. 